I'm Bob Jope, a member of the faculty here at Christian Youth Conference, former director of Camp Judson. And it's the name of Judson that I want to spend a little time sharing uh, about with you today. Uh, Adniram Judson was an American Baptist missionary uh, from the 1800s. He was really the first uh, AB missionary to, to travel to Asia, um, which he did with his wife, Anne Hazeltine, to bring the gospel to the people of Burma. He had developed an interest and even a passion for missions while a student at uh, Andover Theological Seminary, which was newly established at that time. And in the context of the famous Haystack meetings, uh, had dedicated himself to the idea of devoting his life to the cause of missions, to bringing the gospel to foreign lands. It was something that was not commonly done at that time. The field of foreign missions was still very nascent. Uh, and in fact, many denominations, including his own, had not yet sent missionaries abroad. Uh, Judson, at the time a Congregationalist, petitioned the leadership of his denomination to allow him and several others to be the first foreign missionaries from that denomination. And they were uh, given permission to do so and, and funded for that, that first voyage. Together with several other couples, Judson and Hazeltine uh, traveled to India and then to Burma. Uh, on the way, they endured hardships and losses, including the death of their firstborn child. But arriving in Burma, they immediately set to work, beginning to establish relationships with the people that were there, to learn the language, which they arrived not knowing, uh, and to begin the laborious work of becoming missionaries and then translating the New Testament and eventually the whole Bible into the Burmese language. There were many challenges that they faced uh, at the time and even today. Uh, Burma, now Myanmar, was primarily a Buddhist nation and there was much mistrust of foreigners in general uh, and of uh, those bringing foreign customs in particular. Uh, Judson and Hazeltine endured some persecution, uh, some ostracization in the time that they were there, uh, but they persevered and gradually came to be accepted and uh, to become part of the community in which they lived. It took six years for them to win a single convert to Christianity. But once that process started, there was no stopping it. The names of Judson and Hazeltine had become famous. Uh, their work was noised abroad all over the United States, and many, many young people began to emulate their path and choose the life of foreign missions. The mission home that Judson and Hazeltine had built for themselves in Rangoon in Burma uh, began to become a very busy place as new missionaries came uh, again and again to follow in the footsteps of Hazeltine and Judson. They met with much success uh, but continued to endure a great deal of hardship. Um, several other children were born to them, but none of those survived. Uh, the climate, the diseases that were prevalent, and, uh, and other conditions resulted in, in the loss of, of all of their children. Uh, and eventually in the death of Anne Hazeltine as well. At the time, the Judsons had come through a particularly difficult period. Uh, a war between England and Burma had resulted in the imprisonment, the extended imprisonment of Judson himself and the marginalization of Hazeltine and the other missionaries. Um, it was only through Hazeltine's devotion and commitment to her husband and to his well-being and safety that he survived. And it was shortly after his release and um, his reinstatement that she lost her life to an illness. Judson understandably was devastated at the loss of his longtime partner uh, wife, beloved, and friend, and entered a dark period of depression. 
Uh, it was not his first struggle with mental health problems and it would not be his last. But it eventually lifted and he recommitted himself to the missionary work uh, to which he had dedicated himself years before. Judson married again, uh, a, a woman named Sarah Boardman who had come over herself as a missionary, established a relationship uh, with him and uh, they became husband and wife and, uh, and had a son together who returned from Burma to the United States and uh, continued to support their work. Boardman also lost her life in Mission Field and uh, Judson at that point returned to the United States for his only visit uh, after his leaving the U.S. as a young man. Um, marrying again here, he returned with his new wife to Burma where he lived the remainder of his life and uh, passed away at the age of 62. Adniram Judson was a remarkable man, a brilliant, committed, and uh, devoted missionary, a servant of Christ in the truest sense, and a person whose legacy lives on even today. We hope that uh, we have done justice to the memory of Adniram Judson with the program that we run here at the Youth Conference, where we continue to bring the gospel to people who need it. Uh, I thank you for your time and for your attention and for your interest in the life of Adoniram Judson.